1.5 feet with the Earth's gravity. Verification complete. Now the simulation room will recreate Mercury. Ah, uh, it, it's so hot in here. Yes, it's like standing next to a volcano. Your jump is four feet high. Now switch to Venus. Wow, this place looks scary. On the real Venus, everything is toxic. I feel no difference. Yes, the gravity here is almost the same as on Earth. Switch to the moon. Gravity on the moon is 10 times lighter than Earth's. Nine feet. The next one is Mars. Huh? It's pretty comfortable here. The gravity here is the same as on Mercury. Four feet. Now, prepare for the struggle. Huh? What do you... There is no solid surface on Jupiter. Although Jupiter is a great deal larger in size, its surface gravity is just 2.4 times that of the surface gravity of Earth. Ugh, it's hard to even stand here. Only half a foot. Got it. Switch to Saturn. There is no solid surface here either, but Saturn's gravity is almost the same as Earth's. Now Uranus. It's so cold. It's five times warmer here than on the real Uranus. Seriously? Ah, my legs 1. are 1.7 feet. Gravity is slightly weaker than Earth's. That's Neptune for you. Your jumps are 1.3 feet high. Gravity is slightly stronger than Earth's. Get me out of here. Turn off the simulation. You might not think about gravity much, but it affects everything we do. It's the reason why things fall down instead of flying up. It keeps us connected to the Earth, so we don't float away into space when we jump. But for physicists, gravity is something more. It's a fascinating puzzle that needs to be solved to understand how the universe works, and they're on a quest to uncover its secrets. So what's so mysterious about it? Let's see. We've learned a lot about gravity from the legendary Isaac Newton. He was the first to invent the law of gravitation. He taught us that any two objects in the universe can't help but be attracted to each other. It's like they have this secret gravitational crush going on. How strong this attraction is depends on two things. How big the objects are, that is their mass, and how close they are to each other. But here's where it gets cool. Gravity isn't just a two-object dance. It's a complex space choreography. Take our solar system, for example. The sun plays the lead role, using its gravitational pull to keep all the planets in their orbits. But each planet also has its own gravitational mojo, tugging at the sun and even its neighboring planets. Then, a few hundred years later, another hero, Albert Einstein, took gravity to a whole new level. He described the theory of general relativity. According to Einstein, gravity isn't just a regular force. In reality, it's curving and warping the fabric of space-time. Think of it as a heavyweight champion sitting on a rubber sheet. The sheet bends and curves under the weight, and the smaller objects nearby can't help but roll towards the heavy weight. Now, even though we can't see space's curves with our own eyes, we can see what happens to objects that get caught in its grasp. Getting pulled by gravity is like being caught in a whirlwind of forces. The caught objects start spiraling downward, just like a coin in those penny slot cyclone machines you find at tourist shops. Or it might move gracefully in circles, like bicycles racing around a velodrome track. Gravity is the primordial force that guides our entire world. Without it, there would be no stars, no galaxies, nothing. But where does it come from? Well, that's the million dollar question. And we don't have a complete answer just yet, but we do have some guesses. First of all, we know that gravity is more than just a feature of space. It's a force that pulls things together. Surprisingly, it's the weakest force among them all. But let's take a different look at gravity something that may surprise you. Instead of being a force that directly pushes or pulls objects from a distance, it's more like a dance. Gravity, as amazing as it is, doesn't perform alone in this dance. It shares the spotlight with other forces, like electromagnetism, for example. Let's imagine two electrons. There are dancers. Now, they don't directly push or pull each other like you might expect. 
Instead, one electron creates a special kind of field around itself, like an invisible force field. This field sets the stage for the show. The other electron senses this field and starts to twirl and interact with it. It's like they're following some choreography. And when we watch this dance, it looks as if the second electron is being pushed or pulled by the first one. But in reality, it's all about the intricate movements and interplay between the dancers and the field they're dancing in. The dancers never touch each other directly, but their interactions through these fields make it seem like they're connected. It's a magical display of fields and movements coming together to create the illusion of forces at play. The thing we call gravity. So even though it's not a force in the usual way, it behaves like one. We call it an emergent force, because it emerges or comes out from the way space and objects interact. Which is why, if we want to get technical, some scientists prefer to avoid the words gravitational force and opt for the term interaction. It's just a way for particles to mingle and exchange energy and information. Electromagnetic interactions, gravitational interactions, they're all part of this grand soiree. At least that's one of the theories. Some scientists also think that gravity might be made up of tiny particles called gravitons. These sneaky particles work behind the scenes, making objects attract each other. However, we haven't been able to directly see these elusive gravitons yet. So, according to this theory, gravity is both a force and a potential particle. As you can see, we have some struggles with explaining how gravity works on a large scale. But at least we have a good understanding of how it behaves in certain situations, like how planets orbit the sun, or how objects fall to the ground and stuff. But what happens when we zoom into the atomic scale? And what if we venture into the depths of black holes and the Big Bang? Now here's where gravity's wild ride goes off the rails. First, let's enter the realm of quantum mechanics. There's something peculiar that happens in this tiny world. Gravity, the force that pulls things together, seems to take a back seat. On a microscopic scale, other forces like electromagnetism take the spotlight and become the superstars. They're overshadowing gravity, and this leaves scientists scratching their heads, wondering, is this possible? Why does gravity suddenly fade away? So far, we have no idea. And when it comes to the grandest scales, where immense objects like black holes, gravity takes on a whole new level of complexity. For example, inside a black hole, laws of physics and gravity as we know them basically fall apart. It also decays when we try to understand how gravity behaved immediately after the Big Bang. Where did it even come from? We have no idea. In other words, we find ourselves in a cosmic fog when it comes to understanding gravity. But fear not. Scientists are working hard to learn more about this enigmatic emergent force. They're doing all sorts of experiments and using fancy technology to crack its code. Even though we still have a lot to figure out, we're making progress every day. For example, have you ever heard of gravitational lensing? It's like a mesmerizing magic trick. Imagine a beam of light as a fearless explorer, taking a straight path through the universe. But as it encounters the gravitational pull of a massive object, the light's journey becomes a wild roller coaster ride. The gravity of the massive object bends the fabric of space-time, creating a funhouse mirror effect. Our brave beam of light finds itself curving and twisting around the massive object, following a new unexpected path. But as the light changes its trajectory, it also reveals to us distant and hidden wonders that would have remained invisible otherwise. The light can magnify, distort, or even create multiple images of faraway objects. So all the things that have been playing hide and seek with us finally become visible, like black holes. There's also a mind-blowing idea called gravitational waves. Einstein predicted their existence tens of years ago, but only recently have we finally been able to confirm them. And that was a huge breakthrough in the science world. These waves carry the echoes of cataclysmic cosmic events, such as the collision of massive black holes or the birth of newborn stars. Just like dropping a pebble into a serene pond, these crazy events cause a ripple effect. But instead of water, it's space-time itself that ripples and warps. Scientists have just recently developed a way to listen to these whispers. They've created instruments capable of detecting these gravitational waves. These instruments, known as interferometers, are like ears that are finely tuned to catch the subtle vibrations of the universe. But one thing's for sure. Gravity is a superstar that shapes our universe. It keeps everything around us connected and rules our entire universe. The quest to unveil its ultimate secrets continues, 
and it's a thrilling adventure for scientists and curious minds alike. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.